Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. On behalf of Ghana's Minister for Trade and Industry, the Honorable Alan Kojo Chabanting, on whose behalf I deliver these remarks, it's an honor to have Ghana selected to host the sixth African Economic Zones Organization's annual meeting here in Accra, our vibrant capital city and the commercial capital of Africa. We have been very fortunate to host two very important events of Africa Economic Zones Organization within the last three years. And on the score, we wish to express our sincere gratitude to the executives of the organization for the confidence that you show in Ghana. Let me use this opportunity to also welcome you distinguished invited guests and delegates from all over Africa, both physically present here in Accra and those of you who are joining us virtually. The theme for the sixth AEZO annual meeting, connecting African special economic zones to global value chains comes at a time when Africa and Ghana are stepping up our efforts to deepen trade within our ranks. It's appropriate for the ongoing negotiations as well on how goods produced in SEZs should be treated under the AFCFTA. You will recall, ladies and gentlemen, that this meeting is being held after the first AFCFTA consultative meeting on SEZs held in Gabon, which discussed the regulatory framework for SEZs as envisaged in the protocol on trading goods of the agreement establishing the AFCFTA. Ladies and gentlemen, special economic zones are catalysts for the realization of the industrialization agenda of Africa as envisioned in the implementation of the AFCFTA. It is therefore critical for member states of AFCFTA to advocate for the right policy framework to promote SEZ development in our countries. The connection between SEZs, AFCFTA, and global value chains are important in harnessing the benefits under the AFCFTA. This means that the connections must be deepened if true value is to be achieved. This meeting is therefore being held at an opportune time to deliberate on the critical thematic areas of SEZs and AFCFTA, particularly how SEZs can leverage the operationalization of the AFCFTA to boost the industrialization agenda of Africa. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is no doubt that SEZs play a major role in the economies of African states. Most African countries are using SEZs or export processing zones as tools for economic development. For the past 25 years, Ghana has reaped the benefits of implementing an EPZ program through attracting significant foreign direct investments, job creation, value addition to our natural resources and exports. We're currently working with the World Bank Group to develop an SEZ policy to position our private sector to take full advantage of SEZs within the expanded regional market under the AFCFTA, as well as other market integration frameworks. We can achieve this if market access for the products produced from our SEZs and EPZs are granted preferential treatment under the AFCFTA. We need to continue the paradigm by supporting each other to develop vibrant SEZs in order to continue to enjoy the benefits gained from SEZs. And we need to learn from the rich experiences of other countries such as China, whose dedicated attention to SEZs development has led to over 60% of our exports from SEZs and made China a significant player in the global value chains of many products. As you may be aware, ladies and gentlemen, participating in the global value chain provides opportunity for developing countries to diversify their exports and intensify their integration into the global economy, which translates into significant job creation. African countries must seize this opportunity under the AFCFTA to enhance the productivity and competitiveness of African private sector operators 
within the global value chains to pull along the numerous micro and small enterprises up the scale. Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, the private sector operators cannot harness the benefits of both SEZs and the operationalization of the AFCFTA if we do not develop programs and projects to deal with the high cost of trading across our borders, weak trade infrastructure, inefficient customs clearance, and the unnecessary bureaucracy and red tape which tend to impede smooth regional trade. It is in this light and in the light of these challenges that member states of the AFCFTA need to pay dedicated attention to the various elements being promoted under the African Union's program of action for boosting intra-African trade. The seven priority clusters under the BIAT, namely, trade policy, trade facilitation, trade-related infrastructure, enhancing productive capacity, trade finance, trade information, and free movement of persons, capital and other factors of market integration have been holistically designed to ensure that African countries develop in-country programs and projects to address the challenges of the private sector. Ghana, has already started implementing a comprehensive agenda for industrial transformation, which is in line with the BIAT program of action in readiness to take advantage of the AFCFTA. Some of the interventions currently being pursued by the government of Ghana under the BIAT priority clusters are the One Region, One Park initiative, which aims at developing at least one industrial park or special economic zone in every one of the 16 administrative regions in Ghana to provide easy access to dedicated commercial land spaces for enterprise development. In addition, we believe that trade facilitation plays a critical role in market integration and taking advantage of SEZs, as well as the operationalization of the AFCFTA, requiring a strong and robust trade facilitation system, particularly at our ports of entry. In this regard, ladies and gentlemen, the government of Ghana has introduced a number of trade facilitation measures to simplify the trading regimes. The reduction in the number of inspection bodies at our ports and border posts, the harmonization and simplification of customs procedures and documentation have been established to ensure that businesses operating within SEZs can trade smoothly and be active players in the global value chains. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, it is my expectation that the outcome of this meeting will address the critical issue of building strong linkages between the special economic zones and the African continental free trade area and reposition the African private sector to participate fully in the regional and global value chains. I wish you fruitful deliberations at this annual meeting, and I encourage you to enjoy your stay here in Accra. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, Honorable Minister. He sent me another message to say, if you bring this conference back to Accra next year, his entire speech will be in English. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, of course, we are using the hybrid model. That means not everybody could join us here physically. We do have some participants online. So wherever you may be, you are very, very welcome and do partake in our conversations throughout the entire day if you can. But also speaking about our friends and our VIPs who weren't able to join us, they did ensure that at least we see them and we hear them. And one such person is His Excellency, Mr. Wamkele Mene, the Secretary General of the AFCFTA Secretariat. And he 
has sent a message to us via video. Take a look. Annual meeting Africa. Apologize that I'm not able to be with you in Accra. Unfortunately, due to long standing 